Okay, good afternoon AutoCAD students. Uh, this is Chris Dennis and this is going to be tutorial number five. We're going to be talking about using the line command with ortho mode on. Alright, so let's get started. I have just opened up AutoCAD and I'm going to, for starters, do a zoom all. Okay, that will get my screen to be approximately 9 by 15. Um, and I'm going to just review how we used to use the line command. We used to just come up here to line and draw a segment. And even if you try to draw that segment straight, um, when you're drawing it freehand, like I just did, uh, it's very difficult to get the line to be exactly straight uh, anytime you're freehanding. So we need a little tool to help us with that. So I'm actually going to um, grip this line and erase it. And the tool I'm going to use to draw straight lines is called ortho. So right down here on the status bar we're going to pick the ortho uh, command. And now when I start the line command um, you're going to notice that the cursor as I move it around is restricted to horizontal or vertical uh, direction while that mode is on. So now every time I pick while I'm in the line command I'm only able to draw horizontal or vertical lines. Okay, so this is handy because a lot of times the work that you do um, you need straight accurate lines. Okay, the next thing would be, well, how do I draw this line to be a specific length? Okay, so let's undo two times the thing that we just did there. And I'm going to actually, to draw a specific length line, I'm going to draw a rectangle with lines. And what I'm going to do is pretend that the rectangle would be 5 inches tall by 8 inches long. Alright, so let's start that. Let's start the line command. We have our ortho mode on and all I'm going to do is one pick, just this one initial pick, and then I'm going to move the mouse in the direction that I want to go. So I want the line to be drawn in this direction so I move the mouse in this direction and I'm going to actually type, to be accurate, I'm going to type the number 5 and do an enter. Okay, I'm going to pan down a little bit here. Okay, so now that line is drawn at 5 inches and I can go now in any of these directions and I want to move the next line I want to be to the right, so I'm going to move the mouse to the right. Okay, I haven't picked anything just going to move the mouse to the right. I'm going to type in 8, enter. Now I'm going to move the mouse in a downward direction, 5, enter. And I'm going to move the mouse to the left, 8, enter. Okay, I'm still attached here because the computer doesn't understand that I'm done. So I'm going to do another enter to finish off the command. Okay, and there we have a 5 by 8 inch rectangle. 